these items been in my favorites for a while and i didn't even remember putting them in my favorites or having a favorites but i was searching online looking at the items that other people were hauling and i was going to my ulta online and clicking on the items just to see if they were there and that's what made me come up to the favorites category I mean, what's the harm in it, right? Let's just hope we like 99% of the things in here. So we're gonna start off with the Benefit Double the Precisions pencil brushes. It says, it says it comes with a free mini in there and I did get the shade number five, which is the warm black brown and I'm hoping that I picked up the right shade. But this set came with a mini and a regular. And I got this one like this as the duo because it was the same price as the single one. So I was like, why not get two for one? And I always see people in YouTube videos use these and everybody loves them. But Benefit is almost one of the companies that don't cater to us. So it was kind of hard. They're getting there though. It is going to be a perfect color. Oh, I hope it doesn't tug this hard when I go to use it, but it is a perfect shade. It's almost black, which is really good for me. So yay for me for picking shade five. And then it comes with the regular one. Oh, this on the bottom. Oh, it's fully. I feel so dumb. Okay, let's go ahead and move over to Nabla. Y'all, I've been eyeballing Nabla for way too long. But Nabla is one of the ones that are more on the expensive side of the drugstore in Ulta, which they're like a borderline needing to cross over into Sephora because they are up there in price. So I've been eyeballing these products as well as a few more products, but I opted out to get just a few of them and it's on my favorites and was like i could start off with these and let's see if i like them and then if i like them i'll move on to the other favorites so one of them is the nabla dreamy liquid lipstick cocoa i got the shade cocoa and i like the packaging it's really cute but for this size it's kind of like like come on I feel like Nabla should be Juvia's place type of person, but it's not my product line, it's theirs, and if I want to try it, I gotta pay the price. I'm bringing it up close because I noticed that my tube is cracked right here, so I hope that doesn't play a part in affecting my lipstick or anything, but I did go with a deep cocoa color, you guys know I'm like a sucker for the nude brown colors and this is pigmented. I hope this wears so good because I will wear this shade out. I will really wear the shade out. Like that is so pretty. Okay, it smells like cupcakes or vanilla. But I can say I like the packaging and I like that it says it's a dreamy matte liquid lipstick. And hopefully that wears good because oof. The next two things I opted for was the Skin Glazing. The Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powders. Both of them are a glow powder, but this one seems to be more of a blush and this one is more of a highlight. So I did decide to pick these two up. This one is in Lucent Jungle. Ooh, it's so pretty, you guys. Everybody uses Nabla. Everybody is on Nabla's. PR list except for you know me I'm on nobody's PR list so I have to pick up everything I see which is not a problem I love the detail I love how it looks oh it is just gorgeous oh and oh she's pretty now I can't say just from the feel of her she is not soft and creamy 
she kind of feels like the wet and wild highlighters to me almost rough and bricky oh but she swatches gorgeous she swatches good oh she's a perfect match got this shade from andre renee yet again so thanks girl because this is so freaking pretty and it is gonna match my skin tone really good and also andrea renee used this one and this one like i said is more of a blush tone and this one is in adults only which i thought was super cute i can't lie she's gorgeous love the packaging the see-through look all fancy and stuff maybe that's why they're so high maybe because they put a lot of time into the detailing so we're gonna swatch her she's more soft Ooh. She's softer than the highlighter. Oh. oh yeah, I'm gonna wear this shade out. She's gonna be a bomb blush. She has a little sheen to her, a little shimmer, and she can make a beautiful eyeshadow color too. The highlighter too. So I cannot wait to play with Nabla. And I kind of knew Nabla was gonna be one of those really good brands, just didn't know how good. So those were the products that I got for Nabla. So let's move on to makeup. I heart makeup revolution. I picked up two products from them. Um, what is her name on YouTube? I would insert her name like right here or somewhere on the screen. I watch her a lot even though she's not even though she's not melanin I watch her a whole lot and I love her I love her accent and everything she was speaking of makeup our heart makeup revolution and she was speaking of these setting powders that they came out with and she said that she loved all of them and the banana one was a little too banana for her which is because She's not dark skinned. So I was like, you know what? Let me try the chocolate banana one. So I did get the chocolate banana baking powder by I Heart Revolution. It says it's a scented baking powder. So I wonder if it smells like banana. So I did pick it up. I picked it up on a whim all because of her. And I'm so sorry I can't remember her name because I watch her a whole lot. And I don't know why I can't remember her name. She reminds me of Black Radiance, Cody Airspun, Wet n Wild type of size packaging. Oh, she locks. You guys, she locks when you close her. But she looks like this. And I like I Heart Revolution because they're always so fun and cute and like almost on a childish level, but it's so freaking cute that it makes my childish ways want to buy her. You know what I'm saying? So here's what the powder looks like. I can't smell it, but the powder looks like right up my alley. It looks like I would like this shade. And I already have one from Revolution Pro line that I'm already testing. I actually have it on today. If you guys would like to see this video and curious about this look, I do have a video on it already. So make sure you go and check that out. But I'm super excited to try this out. I can't wait to try it out. It looks like I'm gonna like it. And it doesn't really have any claims to it. It just says baking powder. So the other palette I got was in mentions of the same YouTuber, I Heart Revolution, came out with a praline highlighter, contour, blush palette type of ordeal, and a face palette, yes. And it comes with five different shades. And once again, it is like super cute and childish that I love it. And I got the shade Praline because I thought this contour color would be dark enough as well as this highlight color. I'm hoping this contour color works though. Ooh. But this highlighter right here makes me think of one of the highlighters that's already in the makeup revolutions palette it's like the blush palette but they're really highlighters i have it over there 
It's in my February shop mustache if you guys want to see what one I'm talking about. I will have that video linked right here as well. February shop mustache, I used that and I was in love with it. And this highlighter right here reminds me of it. So let me get a few swatches. The contour name is Temper. And we're not dark enough. You see her, but she's not dark enough. She's more on the cooler side. If you can see that. So maybe we'll use her for an eyeshadow. Like transition color when I only want to do like a one day, I mean a one day, a one eyeshadow look, I could use that. But we're going to swatch Ripple, which is this blush right here. Ooh. I'm kind of scared Ripple is too pink. Now I'm gonna dip into Bon Bon, which is almost like a highlight. Ooh. It's a highlighter, but that may be too popular for you, girl. But they're so creamy. Ooh, that's pretty. So let's go ahead and try Praline, which that was probably the only color that I'm seeing that will match. Ooh, pretty. And I know Praline. Praline. Girl, this camera is not doing praline no justice. And then fondant, which is the last icy white color, we know it's gonna be too much. <sighs> too much for me, but girl, we could do something with that. And all of them are so creamy. So I think the palette is pretty cute. It may not work for me all the way, but we're still gonna try it. I don't have no problems trying it and say, you know what, it didn't work, but I'm gonna try it. Now for the last item that inspired this whole shopping trip is because I didn't find it. If you guys watched my last haul, y'all know that I didn't find this particular item inside my Ulta. And I was dreading even getting online to order this, but in my heart, in my soul, I kept thinking about this item and was like, I gotta get it. And I got on Ulta and I got it and I'm super excited. And it's not the last item now that I look, but the whole reasoning for the Ulta haul. It is the Jacqueline Hill and Morphe palette number two. You guys should know. I was gonna get it. I got the Jacqueline Hill and Morphe's first palette. I got her mini palettes with Morphe. It only made sense to get this one. I got the 3502 inspired by her. Like, I have everything that comes with Jacqueline Hill, okay? I just only don't have Jacqueline Hill's line of highlighters and stuff. But y'all, I don't care what nobody say. I love me some Jacqueline Hill. I don't like the cosmetic stuff she done done to us that lately. But Jacqueline, as a YouTuber and as a makeup artist, I love her. And I'm super excited that I got this. I'm, I'm excited I got this baby. I, I just, I had to get it. And I'm so happy that it got the names on the palette. I'm super excited to try these out. I still have all of my Jacqueline palettes. I haven't given away or decluttered none of them. So, this is not going nowhere. I'm loving the names, I'm loving the shades. I wanna see what Talia is like. Everybody has to see what Talia is like. Oh yes, everybody needs this shade in their life. Don't joke, I wanna see if this is a great yellow she's looking patchy she has a little fallout but i'm hoping she builds up really good i'm hoping i'm not judging yet sometimes swatches is not the same as a plan not my journey Ooh. oh sorry you guys didn't mean that that one's looking a little patchy 
drama drama queen. Girl, I read two different ones at one time. Ooh. And I, the one I was reading was Ride or Diamonds. Y'all, that is right up my alley. Ride or Diamonds? What? Ride or Diamonds? Pretty. Pretty. Drama queen. And I got a swipe to get ready with me. Oh, y'all, I can't wait. Okay, what about Homeboy? That's gonna be my last one, and it's a matte, and I like it. Oh, no, Homeboy, come on. I, I believe in you, that is a pretty shade. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't care what y'all say, there's a video coming soon on this palette. And I'm pretty sure y'all gonna be seeing this palette very soon, very often. All that stuff in your face, you look pregnant, you look swole. I love you, but you look swole, girl. All right, and then the last product I picked up was the New Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And you guys, this is actually in our shade. Endless Summer. Physicians Formula is another brand that rarely caters to us so everybody raves about the butter bronzers and all this and none of us could try it out because they didn't have one in our shade and they finally listened and was like okay here y'all go whatever just to shut y'all up but i'm glad they finally listened and took heed to what we were saying i don't know but let's hope that it is my shade because that was the deepest one and it don't look like it oh well maybe maybe it is soft it is soft it almost looked too cool though it almost but we're gonna try it i was just hoping i was having my fingers crossed for you guys to see if it would work but we're still gonna test it out and we're still gonna try it. So that is everything from my drugstore haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and comment down your request. What do you wanna see first? What do you wanna see in depth of? What do you wanna see paired together? Let me know. It is nice to have y'all to talk to. I would love for you guys to talk to me and let me know what y'all would like. And don't forget that we do have the upcoming 5K giveaway. There will be two winners in that giveaway once we hit 5K. Keep the love coming. Keep growing. Y'all keep commenting and keep sharing my videos. That's the only way we're gonna hit 5K if y'all watching these videos and sharing these videos. It helps me and my channel out and it helps me bring more content to you guys that y'all have been given thus far. And thank you in the future for all the love I will be receiving. And with that being said, this is everything in this haul. In the words of my loyal subscriber, I would love for y'all to keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one.